Hello, folks. I'm back. It's been some years, probably. I ain't done a cigar review, but get what? I'm gonna do one tonight. Now, got a special cigar made by uh, Stolen Thrones. This is one of their latest creations. We're called the Oath Taker. Now, I smoked one the other night, and I was not impressed at all. Now, it did taste good, though. I said, but for the price I paid for the stick, mm, no, nah, I ain't going for it. Uh-uh. No. Not having it. Didn't burn good. Uh, you know, I was like, wow. And, you know, you get a little coning, and I get that. The amount of coning that this thing did, it was way, way too much. So, um, hoping it could have been just a jacked up stick or something. But still, it, it still tastes good. I, I'm, I'm going to lie. So, I did enjoy just that, man, the coning and the work I had to go on. But, today, I'm giving it a second shot. I already uh, did my V-cut. Okay. And my... Uh, Handy dandy old $8 lighter. I like it because uh, I can see how much fluid is in there when I fill them up. Because, man, I be struggling sometimes with the ones you can't see. You know there's some good, expensive lighters. But, hey, this works. So, I'm going to go ahead and light this bad baby up. We're going to see. I tell you what. the uh, As I burn it, you know, the, the foot burns pretty good. It looks, it looks, looks good. Normal flames all the way around, you see there. And, uh, give a little touch in the center there. So, yeah, it likes well. See, I got a little darkness still in the deep center of that puff. Bad lighting technique. That's on me. That's not on them. Okay. And I'm gonna let that let that roll that way. Now I did notice too this happened on the other one. Um, the glue that they did on the wrapper, um, they don't glue it to the cigar, I guess. But I don't like that slidey stuff, you know. So I can slide it off if I wanted to. So I'm going to slide it off, but it is, remember, the oath taker. Uh, you can't even see that, so I'm just going to leave it there. Now, the construction of the cigar is good. You got to, I can't even see it, so I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a good vein, you know, typical of some good end sticks. Um, it really helps on the flavor. So, but right now, I'm not tasting anything, which was normal, just like the last one. So, I'm going to give it some consistency. Nice smoke. What I do notice is that the, now I'm going to blame that on my lighting too, is the uh, color of the ash. You see, it's really dark and the other one was really mostly white there's a lot of darkness on this one now it could be because of burnt but we shall see on that too as well but like i said i'm not getting any flavors right now but uh that's okay i don't mind that because i do like cigar flavor Easy to say, you know, the, the 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 gentlemen over at Stolen Thrones really know how to pick some good cigars, man, and, and really really make them. But uh, I'm I'm gonna go on the limb and say that uh, that was that was just a bad stick. But uh, and like I said, even with that canoeing, I, I mean uh, the uh, coning that I got, um, the excessive coning, I'm okay. Uh, I said I normally don't see that. On, now I see that on a lot of these cheap cigars I smoke when I cut grass, these $1 sticks that I buy and these uh, 
two, three hour steps, you know, and I get some bad cones. So that's why I uh, was a little bit upset about that. And I said, man, it shouldn't be that. So I said, maybe the filler was jacked up or something. I don't know. But so far, you know, this is holding up. Like I said, just the coloration of the, uh, of the ash is a little bit darker. Like the other one was pretty much uh, white all the way through. So I'm getting a little bit of pepper flavor. And I can deal with that, you know. I like pepper. So I'm starting to get some pepper. Let me see what happens at the first ash. So I'm going to put her on pause and I'm going to come back when I get it down to about to here. Or right after I do that ash, you know. I'm about one inch, inch and a half. You know, then she ready to go. And we see what the cone's gonna happen. All right, I'll be back. Hang tight. Hey! All right, I'm about 15 minutes in. And, uh, yeah. Look at the ash. Okay, so you make your mind up. Do some research on, on the colors of what these ashes mean. It has something to do with the minerals and the soil, nutrients, or whatever. So it's like this is mixed, but uh, not like the other one though. The other one was, was mostly, mostly white. Or gray-ish. Now, I'm getting a little bit more pepper and something else is sneaking in. Now, the one I had the other day uh, I had about the same, um, I don't remember this other, other hint that's coming in, but I can't place my finger on it, but you can see the smoke is actually, uh, lots of it, you know, really easy coming out, and I love the color of this smoke nice grayish I tell you it smells good too smells good I hope everybody's doing well during this uh, COVID time period you know um, me and my family we doing well kids start school tomorrow you know from home we got their desk set up all good to go uh, we set some cameras down there to point towards each one of them so we could make sure that they're doing what supposed to do um, can't make it into to the room. You know, I'm working from home, so uh, easy monitor. Uh, so, yeah, it, it works out. So, so far, so good. Still burning even. Can't see a little crack going on, but I don't worry about that. Uh, I'm not too concerned about the crack, but I tell you, the aroma is really nice. Um, the pepper's still hanging in there, but whatever that second, I, I can't place it. You know, I don't have the greatest palate either. But I tell you, she's about ready to ash out. I, I usually don't like to ash them too much unless I'm in a public setting, then I don't want the ash to drop. But since I'm in my little crazy a bowl here if it drops it's okay it's concrete floor right up underneath me so easy to wipe it up not burning too hot um yeah see the ash is hanging out pretty good there uh, so i'm not so I'm changing my mind. We're gonna see what happens with this with this cone when it happens, you know. Some of the other premium cigars are uh, smoke cones, you know, get a little ridge, maybe about a, let's say quarter of an inch out, which is normal. Like I said, this this cone is more like a top of a volcano that was uh I don't know, I say it was a good almost a good half inch that cone and it was just ugly and you could see the fiery in it, you know, which it is. It's where the heat is, you know, you got the, 
you got the ass that falls off, and that's why that cone is laying there. And I get, and I get all that, you know. But I was just shocked. It says, "Man, this is like a dollar cigar burn." But like I said, the cigar tastes good, and I'm getting the, pretty much the same taste I got the other one. I was pairing that one with some uh, Crown Royal. Uh, you know, I call this a school night, so I'm not uh, I'm not having any imbibement. So I'm just I just got some actually, believe it or not, uh, some uh, cherry juice or something like that. Normally I don't drink any of that, but uh, I just had a good taste for it. I had my fantasy football draft before I got my garb on. I tell you, really nice. Still smooth across. I don't know what that other hint coming in there. I'm gonna give it my little. Uh, I do have that that spearmint that happens right about now. I'm into a good portion of it. And say it was about an inch and a half, and you're still there, you know. So the colors are consistent across. You see light, dark, light, dark, and you see the nice ridges. So definitely, it's well constructed. So. It must have been uh, an anomaly or something. And typically, stolen thrones don't, don't. It's not like that. So, but hey, like I said, it still smoked. The taste and the flavors was good for me. I just didn't like that cone. I shouldn't be hung up on it, but man, why am I hung up on the cone? Somebody, please comment and let me know why am I hung up on that cone. Yes, it is. I'm going to go ahead and ash this because um, I really want to see. Uh, so I'm just going to do a light tap. Okay. Not bad, not as long, but you can see what I was talking about the other night. I can could, I could deal with that. Like I said, it doesn't really affect the flavor, but you can see how hot that is in there. And that's, that's kind of cool that you know that that's a lot hot. Can you imagine the constructed cigar where it's not even close? I do have a temperature thing that I uh, normally point to, it, but it's way on the side. I didn't get that. And I also have a, uh, a little prick that I use when I get to an end of cigar I really like. And I poke it up near there and use it as my... You know, to hold it because it gets a little hot, and I turn the temperature on. And tells me, you know, I see get up there to two, three, so like four hundred degrees. But uh, I usually stop now. I figured out that about two sixty, two seventy. Um, when it's there like that, I need to put the cigar out because I'm just getting fire and also my lips get burnt. But sometimes, but the taste good though. You know, it's like it's like if you're a hot sauce guy. Like I like hot sauce, man. Hot sauce is great. The hotter the better. And I get me some hot wings or something like that. Give me the hottest you got. And sometimes the ones that are so flavorful and the hot is just overpowering, right? But it, the flavor is just ridiculous. It just gotta, I gotta keep having it. Even though the burn is ridiculous. Now I can handle the burn, you know, but still, you know, flavor, flavor. And I'm getting that flavor, but I gotta keep having it. So man, it burns too much, but I love it. So it's maybe, you know, and that's what happens down there sometimes. But I told myself I gotta stop doing that. I burnt my lip a couple of times, you know. Yeah. Still consistent with the cigar taste. Um, pepper's almost gone. I got that nice spearmint. I got the cooling effect inside my mouth. I'm loving this now. I'm loving it. And you know what? Keep on uh, coning like this, uh, Stole the Throws. Okay? The Oath Taker. Okay? All right. Once again, the Oath Taker. You know what? So I bought a five pack. And I think this is definitely one that. Yeah, uh, I'm going to buy some more. I'll definitely buy some more. If you have never had any of the Stolen Thrones, man, you, you got to try them, man. They have great products. Yeah.
yeah, this is uh, definitely, definitely, uh, that was an anomaly, but uh, this would actually taste better too. Uh, like I said, there's pepper, pepper basically gone. I'm getting that spearmint, ah, feeling in my mouth. Tastes good. I get that cigar flavor that I really like. And look at the smoke, man. Look how beautiful that smoke is. It's definitely. Um, you can see the, the burn's a little crazy just because it, it ripped a little bit, but that's okay. I ain't worried about that. I tell you, if you hadn't had stolen thrones, Go out there, uh, Cigar Federation sells them, I believe, um, and I'm not sure about anyone, but yeah, just look up Stolen Throne Cigars, um, they're, they're great. The Crook of the Crown was the first one they came out with, big hit, I think they were rated 94, man, that's a great, that's a great one. They got this Remy Jean. Um, I don't know if they sell those ones. I think they sold them out and it was just a short run one time only and There's another kind as well. I have uh, three sticks of those in the Humi over there so, Yeah, so Man, you, you you gotta try them. If you are a premium You know cigar smoker Give them, give them a whirl And uh, give them a uh, give them some feedback, you know uh, Lee Marsh yeah, let, let him know. Look him up. I tell you, you will be uh, you'll be surprised. And I'm so glad I decided to videotape this second one because I took pictures while I was smoking the, the other one the other night to uh, one of the guys that uh, that works with them, and I was telling him how uh, unsatisfied I was. But like I said, wasn't unsatisfied with the taste. The taste is great. That was just about the, about the cone. Said that the ash is definitely it's a lot darker, so you know less minerals, but that's okay. That doesn't really mess with the flavor. It's definitely consistent. You can see the definite lines. You know, like when you cut a tree trunk over. Yeah, most definitely uh, well built. This one definitely well built. I think I had an anomaly. That's all it was. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this and enjoy the rest of this. Um, because it's kind of late. I got to go to work, even though I'm come right back in the morning, about uh, seven hours from now, and get to work. But yeah, definitely a cigar that I think everybody should buy. All right. If you don't like it, let me know, and I might be able to uh, bring a deal with you, you know, uh, and I'll pick them up for you because I tell you, uh, great, great cigar line that he has going on. Uh, only been in the business a couple of years, man. I tell you, making noise, he's making noise. And I uh, just can't wait till the day where they buy their own factory and all that, man. That's gonna be great. I'm definitely gonna take a tour. I have one tour that I'm gonna go on, first and foremost, before I do anything. And then they will be my second. I won't go on any other tours until I go to that other cigar factory first. And then I'll go ahead and hit uh, hit Stolen Thrones up. I uh, can't wait for them to get all that lined out and start start doing. I can go see that factory. So with that said, you guys stay smoky. Thanks for hanging out. You know I don't do all that advertising, you know, all that crazy junk. You know, hey, it is what it is. So, yes, I love it. I got three more. I'm gonna enjoy those, and hopefully they'll bring in some more more of these out. But yeah, you can't go wrong. The Oath, take, Oath Taker, you can find them. I think they sold out the first run real quick. So, they gotta make some more. I said the, the Coney, hey, I don't care. Now, Coney doesn't matter to me anymore. I'm done with that. Um, it's all about the consistency of 
consistency of the cigar and this definitely has it. The taste is still good. Peppers, basically gone. I got that experiment going on. Same thing I have had happen uh, the other night. So yeah, well, well built, well constructed. So I'm bringing it back up. It's well worth the premium price that I paid for this. The one I had the other night, nah, you knock about six, seven bucks off that bad bitch. But this, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was an anomaly. So the mother ones are gonna smoke just as good as this. Yeah, awesome cigar, folks. You guys have a good one. Thanks for hanging out with me and uh, I'll see you again real soon. Stay smoky, my friends.